everybody. Um, I am about 45 minutes away from Clarksville, Indiana. Um, I'm heading up there from Bowling Green uh, this morning. I heard from our friends at This Crazy New Albany that there's going to be a Berg Only League Round happening um, at Lapping Park, a local course in, in Clarksville, close by to our shop in New Albany. Um, we'll be playing Berg Only, and I think there's going to be a Ring of Fire putting contest afterwards as well. Um, so uh, everyone thought it might be a fun idea to come up and maybe get some video of a Berg Only League Round. So uh, it'll be a fun time for sure. I think afterwards while I'm up here, I'm going to stop in our New Albany store as well to see what's going on. Uh, maybe check in with Jillian with our dive bar and I'm sure Cody with the, with the shop will be there as well. So um, looking forward to it. Should be a good time. The weather seems to be nice, cool and crisp this morning too. So um, hopefully there's a good turnout, uh, but I, I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun no matter what. So I just got to the park and I've already met a few people here. Everyone is super nice and excited that this is going on out here. I've heard from uh, Cody. I just Cody's back here behind me somewhere. There he is in the red. Uh, usually this is, I think, a little bit bigger of a turnout than what they normally get for their league rounds here. So everyone's super excited to be out here. Birds are flying everywhere. I'm probably going to go float around on the course and follow a couple cards. So we're a couple holes in now. Um, so far, some pretty sick shots with the Bergs. Um, I don't personally currently bag a Berg right now, but I might have to after today. Met a lot of awesome people so far. Uh, everyone's super nice. There's a really huge turnout out here, which is so awesome to see. Um, I think everyone's just kind of, it's early in the morning out here, but I think everyone's um, you know, still kind of excited to be out here throwing all the Bergs around. Um, hoping for some pretty sweet action today. We'll see if I know they're playing the short layout out here at Lapping, and I've heard there's not too many long holes, so we'll see if we can catch any uh, metal hits on camera, though. So, but so far, everyone's having an awesome time. Got it. He's got the Star Wars. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Is that the one that Scott Sofley commented on? No, yeah, that was Scott the other one. Faded though, it was on the yeah, the other one. Thing. Let's see the shirt too. I gotta love the shirt. Yeah. yeah. I saw something's on the back too. Is there a little logo on the back? Yeah, the Wolf Trace logo's on the back. That's awesome. Could be yeah, it could be me. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. Custom dies it. Oh, yeah. It's crazy there in New oh, yeah. Albany. Oh, okay. Did you meet up with Jillian and get all this done? Heck yeah. That's sweet. I love a good spin die. Those are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's super swirly looking. That's sick.
Get a shot of that just crazy on Heads it. Heads up, cops coming in. So, this was your first time throwing the bird? Yeah. Okay. And I shot a plus eight, which was better than hey. SLM, which is like, yeah. yeah and I made a birdie on 15. I was the only one not to, not to throw you all yeah, on no. the bus, but I made long putt uh, yeah. on 15, which was like insane. Yeah. And I think I might actually be switching, like at least keep it in the bag for putters. And it, I use zones for my like up shots, uh, where it's like, I don't want it to go too far. And it's like, oh yeah, this thing just dies. That is awesome. It's great. So it's, it great. Was... it's great for when you're in a winning tournament, like window. Oh yeah. And you're putting and you want to just drop. Because that was my only because mistake, it, was I, missing I, I, low. And I, throw it's like, an, oh, I, just... I throw an envy putting if I'm not using my bird. And if it's windy, my envy will go, whoo, see ya. My That's my judge. Go, yeah. Okay. On the blue tees, yeah. I'm usually around eight under, it, I'd say. Like, so I'd be pretty I good at the bird. Okay. I see you got two of them today. Are these, do you bag these currently? Uh, no. But I'm okay. thinking about it after today. Right, yeah. You can put a lot of torque into these and they just stay straight. Yeah. It's, they're pretty good discs. Did you notice a big difference between the K3 and the K1 soft? Uh, not really. This one's a little more stable than this one. This one's just straight as an arrow. This okay. This one's a little more stable. <laughs> Sweet. That's yeah. awesome. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to do a couple rounds of Ring of Fire. Lines painted at 13, 32 feet, so no steppers. You want to get a group yeah, of two first rounds? We'll count like down three. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's great paint on the ground. Yeah. On this side. On this side. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if you made it, go on the street. Check that out. The bird, the winner bird. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Daniel Russell. I'm Drew Ward. And uh, what did you take at Daniel? What did you end up taking down today? I uh, took at 11 under, went to a playoff, and won the playoff. Okay. And you? I had an 8 under. 8 under in the yeah. B pool? Sweet. Yeah. Um, do you guys currently bag Bergs right now? or? I do, yeah. You do, do you think that had a played a part in you guys? Definitely. A right? little bit, yeah. Okay, so I know how these flew for sure. I didn't just go buy it right before the event. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I'm back three. I putt with them. So yeah, you putt with birds? Yeah. Well, okay. I don't do that. But yeah, yeah. I, maybe I should. It's been like the last three or four really well months thing, but yeah. it helped today. K3 plastic? 
Uh, I actually like K1 better. You putt with the K1? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> did any of you guys have any metal hits out there at all? Did you have any parts absolutely under the basket? Uh, I took on two CTPs, so two pretty close, but nothing against the pole or anything. I had zero CTPs. I was just making putts. <laughs> yeah, putting was good today? Yeah. Okay, sweet. What did you enjoy most about the round today, about the event? The amount of people that were here. It was just good energy. Everybody was throwing the berg. It was just awesome to see this many people out here for one disc, you know? Okay. Yeah, I'm same same with that sentiment. Like everybody here is just super casual and cool. I mean, it's a bird ground. It's kind of a special event, and everyone's pretty relaxed. And I think that made the vibe a lot better. Do you think everybody should bag a bird? It's not for everybody. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you know well, pretty quick. Well, we both do, and look who won today. So. Yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to the Wolf Trace Disc Golf Club here in Southern Indiana, um, just across the river from Louisville, for having me out here. Um, I think the final tally count was 73 people I heard so they had a ton of people show up for this event so many Berks were flying I think I had a couple pretty decent shots in there of maybe some pole hits and some chain outs so um, I'm excited to see maybe what that looks like but it was so cool to see so many people out here having just a good time no one was taking anything too seriously so um, so many Berks were flying um, everyone was having a great time I had a great time um, but uh, big shout out to everyone for having me out here I felt super welcomed everyone was very friendly uh, so it was worth the trip for sure. It was such a great time. I think I'm going to head down to the shop in New Albany, uh, just crazy New Albany. Check out what's going on there. I think Cody and Jillian might be in today. So um, I'm going to grab a bite to eat and see what's going on down there. I made it down to the shop. It's been a while since I've been here in New Albany's store. Really love the vibe that they got going on in here. Um, almost kinda, we're down here kind of on the strip. Um, it's actually, it's impossible to see outside right now because it's so bright, but um, I kind of dig the vibe down in the shop, a little bit different than our VG store. Um, it's, yeah, like I said, it's been a while since I've been here, so I just kind of wanted to see if there's any hidden gems that I might want to steal for <laughs> our store down in BG. A um, ton of Innova just came in recently. If you like Innova, it's the place to be, so we got a lot of sick molds down here. We got Cody and Jillian here today. What's up, Cody? Yo. Jillian's in the back. I can barely see you. <laughs> we'll check in on some of the dye discs here in a second too, but yeah, I always love the, whenever I get a chance to come, you know, peek at some of our other stores. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but a lot of times they carry maybe some different colors that we don't have, so that's also pretty cool. Dyes are sick. Thanks. What's uh, coming up for the dive bar? Anything going on in the next little couple weeks or so, or, or what can people or what should people know about the dive bar? You can come in any time and dye your own disc, um, and we have an event on November nineteenth. Okay. I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it's going to be cool, and there's going to be wine. There's going to be wine. Yeah. Well, heck yeah. That's awesome. Cool. You all have a you have a Facebook page, right, where people can like book appointments and stuff like that. Yeah, it's the This Crazy Die Bar Facebook page. Sweet. Come die your own disc at This Crazy. These are sick. I'm kind of jealous because I don't have one. All right, I think my time here is done. I got to make it back to Bowling Green to check in with Noah and see how the shop's going down there. Um, New Albany's looking sick as always with the dive bar set up and the little vintage vibes going on in here. It looks good. Um, there's some sweet plastic in here too that I'm jealous that we don't have in Bowling Green. So um, I might try to sneak a mold or two out of here to have down at our store. But um, thank you so much Wolf Trace Disc Golf Club for having me out there filming your Berg only uh, league round today. It was a lot of fun. Um, there's Bergs here at the shop in New Albany, so if you were out there and maybe need to bag one yourself, uh, I think we might have a few that we might um, let sneak out the door. So um, it was a good time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, subscribe if you're not. And if you're near any of our stores, be sure to check in. We might have Bergs and some other sweet plastic that um, you might not know you need in your bag yet. So, all right, have a good one.